Don't look at me like that. You know what you have to do. Yeah, you know what you have to do. We found something out there in the water. It was mean and vicious, and I need you to lay eggs so I can tame it. All right? More. I know, realize you've already given us, so far, five eggs from the entire time that I've had you here. But can you give me a sixth? A sixth egg. Don't twitch your head at me like that. Just don't do it. Give me more eggs. Come on. That, that didn't work. I need another egg. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Souling the Ark. I'm Flieger Foo, and I just couldn't resist an opening back on the toilet. You know, I mean, that's just me. I'm sorry. I'm really, really am. But you know what? I went through a lot of trouble to make this toilet right when they first came out. And I, I really, it was the beginning of the series that I didn't have any resources, and I busted my butt to get this thing. So I'm getting my full money's worth out of this toilet. All right. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. So, uh, yeah, let's... <laughs> I need a minute here. Ah, fresh morning air. Oh, it's not fresh right now. Ah, ah the fresh morning air. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just couldn't resist a poop joke. All right, so hey, yeah, today um, we are back over here at the uh, old uh, um, little shack that we had and um now today we're i think we're gonna head out um there's a couple things i want to do in order to get this base fully up and running but also i want to uh head out and i want to start doing some stuff underwater so um now we need to make sure we have plenty of arrows with us because you can't craft arrows on the fly underwater where did i put all my arrow i brought a whole ton with me did you eat them don't look at me like that. You did. <laughs> all right, Bertha ate all the arrows. All right, so uh, yeah, let's uh, take this. You know, let's just put all this inside the uh, food trough. Yeah, you're not gonna need all that. Oh, hey, and you have chitin on you too. I knew I could count on you. I was thinking I was gonna have to go get more chitin so I could uh, build a saddle for first flyers where we had, you know, an emergency response unit just in case if something bad happened good thinking bertha i knew i could count on you yeah i can excuse you eating the arrows all right thanks all right uh <laughs> let's put this over inside here um oh wow are we out of room we are oh my gosh all right fine all right fine well i guess uh, i guess you can have some of this meat back all right so yeah today there's a turtle swimming by in the back Turtles? I don't know. There's something afoot going on with them on the island. I mean, they'll just, you know, I mean, it's always the person that you uh, never expect that, uh, you know, leads the uprising against you. And I'm thinking that, why do I have feces in here? And I'm thinking that it's the turtles that's going to do it. Um, and now by uprising, I mean they're going to, um, you know, they're gonna, like, try to, uh, come and usurp everything and take over my dinos. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's gonna happen. Oh, come on. Don't, no, there we go. Araneo, um. Oh, did I lose my Tyranodon in the, uh, mind wipe? I did. All right, so let's, uh, Tyranodon. There we go. Crafting. Tyranodon, there we go, all right. So yeah, and uh, so I'm thinking that the turtles, they're up to something. I mean, seriously, I mean, you'll just be doing stuff and next thing you know, they'll they'll wander on by, just kinda aimlessly, cluelessly, but really, they're checking you out. That's like a highly trained spy that's coming into the area. It's of like the were turtles. It's coming into the area and they're, they're scoping out what's going on, getting a feel for everything. Bertha, you see another turtle? You eat it, all right? I wish there was a command where you could uh, turn uh, dinos on, attack certain type of dino. It would be the turtle. Yeah, that guy, right over there. The turtle, see? He knows we're onto him, so he's just out, you know, he's trying to judge us from a distance. That's what's going on. 
right, so, all right, paranoid delusions aside, let's go head over to the water pen. All right, now, um, this right here is the reason why we brought Bertha. Um, because Bertha is big and tough and mean, and she's also got this little attack. Bam! All right, so where um, she is going to pretty much be our emergency response for the underwater. Now, if we need to get from point A to point B right quick, and I need to take Foo back, if we need to get from point A to point B right quick, we have first flyer. All right, and then if we need to uh, get underwater and go uh, discover a few things underwater, you know, we have the um, Megalodon. But if things get hairy, then we can always uh, fall back on, uh... oh, Bertha. So, yeah, it's always good to make sure that you have, you know. It's always a good thing to make sure that you have your door closed from that side when you go in. All right, um... So yeah, we're gonna head over. We're gonna go uh, take a look. Oh, 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 one thing. Hold the phone. All right. All right. So uh, yeah, I mean, there was a bunch of comments on what to name our new and amazing and awesome and uh, unicorn. Yeah. And I was thinking about you know calling it um, you know something to do with. Uh, Rainbows shooting at its butt, or, you know, uh, uh, being super majestic while rainbows were shooting at his butt. But, I decided that I would go with the uh, most common name that everybody had discussed. Why can't I? There you go! Alright, and we're just gonna go with Lady Amalfia. I think that's the correct spelling. Yes, that is the correct spelling. All right. Hey, all right. All right. So, uh, yeah, we have Lady Amalthea. And I'll probably just call her Lady for short. Yeah. Because that's 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 a mouthful when you're trying to, you know, get a bunch of stuff. I, mean, I already have a bu uh, big enough problem with Bob the Builder Beaver. You know, and when you, we take out Bob the Builder Beaver, and be um, we have to take, we have to go out and, uh, you know, pillage the dams with Bob the Builder Beaver. And Bob the Builder Beaver has to constantly be out and, uh, you know, tackling a whole bunch of stuff. Then, you know, Bob the Builder Beaver actually turns into a big tongue twister. So, <laughs> yeah, that aside, we're going to head over and we're going to take a... Quick look at these Pteranodons, because I am on a lookout for a level 150 Pteranodon. Okay, nope. None of these are good enough. All right, oh, I didn't see you. You're not good enough either. All right, so yeah, um, now we're going to head over. We're going to go uh, do the underwater thing. And what? there's a couple things that I want to get uh, taken care of today. One, I want to uh, see if we can go tame ourselves in Ichthyornis. And... Um, another thing is I want to wait, uh, move, make our way down to, uh, taking out some, uh, oh, anglerfish, because we're gonna need angler gel if we're ever gonna want to, uh, tame a manta. And, so, also, I want to take a look. Where's, there's my dude. There you are. Right. Look at the long, flowing ponytail in the breeze. <laughs> hey, Wicked Shark, how you doing? Ain't you just a big bundle of happiness? All right, and then we eventually also need to uh, fix this. And also, I um over on over the other area over there, I ended up making a taming pen. Um, all the stuff for a taming pen for a manta. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to get to do it today, but I'm hoping that we might be able to. All right. And let's uh, grab Wicked Shark. But first off, we need to uh, equip our flippers and that, and that, and um, which one of these? Oh, none of them are damaged. All right, and that. And you know what? Hey, Bertha, can you hold on to a little few pieces of flak for me? Thanks, girl. All right. There you go. Knew I could count on you. All right. So now that we've got a whole bunch of green icons in the bottom right, now it's re re time to head into water! Ah, there we go. All right. So how you doing, Wicked? You haven't even gotten a single level? All right, well, I thought you would have been passively leveling over here, but obviously I was wrong. So hey, we're going to head over here, and let's head out into the deep sea and see what we can see, because um, I do want to uh, see if we can go out and get ourselves a... Uh, Oh, I'll take those arrows, and you can drop this. Get us, uh, um, something big, either 
Another shark? Oh, there's a manta. Or an ichthyornis or something. Um, I don't want to move too fast up the food chain when it comes down to uh, all this stuff. So, yeah. Fifty. Probably Forty-five. Okay. Not good. Alright. Let's go out like this. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry about going into first-person mode when it comes into underwater, but it's just easier. It is. It's so, so much easier. Alright, maybe not right now. <laughs> There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. So now we've got a little bit more food. Oh, and I forgot these things can't carry hardly any weight. And also, we're going to be wanting to save all these Megalodon teeth that we get from this little journey. Because we're eventually going to need a lot of them. What level are you, dude? 30. Not good. All right. Well, you're just free XP. And also, I think I might want to try to start getting into a, a little bit of biotoxin, but I'm not too sure about the biotoxin yet. All right, come on, dude. There you go. Um, maybe we should go uh, get us a Basilosaurus. That would be kind of cool. That melee damage. Your melee damage is really low, girl. Shark over there. Whoa, this shark just aggroed from a ways away. Level are you? 130. Hey, you're not bad. And maybe we could find us a nice uh, high-level Megalodon. We could actually breed them. That would be pretty cool. I would not be opposed to that. Come on, dude. Because as uh, the underwater area gets more and more dangerous, having an imprinted dino under here is so much more important than it used to be. damage and another pump in health right level are you you're 20 you suck no 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 get back here dude you're my food there you go thank you all right <laughs> then also i'm gonna take a look um there's a couple spots over here that i really enjoy taking a look at uh, because they're kind of like my usual stomping grounds when i uh Head out underwater. But I also want to uh, stay clear of any alphas, because right now I am not prepared in order to take an alpha. An alpha would kick my butt left, right, upside down, all over, and yeah, it would have us for pate. What level are you? What level are you? Let me show me your level. Let's, let's come out this way. Get some distance. But not look like we're keeping our distance. And then we'll spin around. Do a quick spin attack. Show me your level. 80, 90. Oh, you suck. Okay. Yeah, you're both going down, dudes. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but you're going down. And you're going down quick. Is that an anglerfish over there? We need angler gel. Come on, guys. All right, well, I'm going to be out here adventuring around, killing a bunch of these things. If I cover all this stuff, um, it's going to be a very long episode. But we're going to be out looking around. We're going to do a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to head over to a few of the usual stomping grounds, see if we can find some stuff. 
And I do have enough stuff to actually go tame a whole bunch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of here. <laughs> I do have enough stuff to actually tame um, quite a bit. So, yeah, if we can find something cool, if we can so find something um, big, then we can tame it. But, uh, yeah. All right. So, hey, I will see you guys in a bit. I have fought it, spotted my first Mosa on the server. Uh, Mosa's are pretty dangerous. Um, I really don't want to uh, mess with one right now. Let's see, she's over here wandering around. Where is he? She's only level 20. But yeah, I mean, these guys. Uh, I, I can't wait until I get a nice high level Mosa. And there's a shark coming. Is he right there? Big, beefy, and mean. Oh, yeah. And a shark coming to try to eat my butt. So yeah, we're gonna head up here, and also I'm, I think I might actually take a look around for, um, oh, some Basilosauruses. I mean, because a Basilosaurus at this stage could be quite beneficial. It's where we could go down and we could, uh, farm a bunch of biotoxin and stuff like that. So yeah, because, uh, they don't take any, uh, shock damage from the jellyfish, which is very, very beneficial. Sharks. Oh, you're just eating. All right. All right, so yeah, I'm going to be out here taking uh, some more looks, and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, and also, when you're down here, keep an eye... Oh, what? Two more Megalodon? I just killed your buddy! What, didn't you guys learn? Ah, uh, yeah, but there's a ton of uh, Silica Pearls down here, and I intend on grabbing those. Pretty cool. Level 25, mate boosted. All right, come on, guys. So far, this has basically been the extent of my journey. I'm just down here killing every single Megalodon that aggro's on me. And there's a lead sick this. Oh, okay. They're just leads. Alright, let's take a look. Level one. Oh yeah, that's right. They're always level one. <laughs> oh yeah. And then uh yeah, um I the little confession, underwater creeps me out a little bit. So, at least until I get a higher level, um, dino, so, yeah. Alright, so let's, uh, grab this. I need all the Silica Pearls I can get. Because, at, up until now, Silica Pearls have been kind of a chore to get. Now, they're actually, you know, I can just grab them when I need to. Oh, I do that right. There we go. You have to make sure that you have your, uh, Spyglass equipped when you hop on. You gonna come right at me, Cole? Yeah? Let's go over this way. I'm still on the lookout for a Basilosaurus or something. Basilosaurus would be cool, but that would also mean that I'd have to rush back to base. And grab my, uh... Therizinosaurus kibble. And I'm not even sure how many eggs I have made up of that. But I will take the English up. Oh, really? Ah, fine. Alright, let's just... Let's just leave those guys in the dirt. Alright. Oh, I'm encumbered. Can't leave anything behind right now. Cumber. Alright. <laughs> oh, there's a Basilosaurus. Let's go take a look at that. What level are you, dude? Fifteen. And then these Basilosaurus, they always have this big, huge schools of stuff around them. And that's also why we, uh... No, 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 not e No, 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 not eels. Uh-oh, I think I'm dead. I hate eels so bad. So, so bad. <laughs> oh, man, that was... Oh, no way. Get out of here. Come on. Go down here. Another uh, lead sick this.
Get away from those. Oh, eels freak me out. I hate eels so bad. So, so bad. Let's get some stamina. Uh, more sharks. Ah, see? This place is just so dangerous. Oh, hey. All right, let's uh, get over here and... I want to take a look at those uh, pleasies down below. What level are you guys? 15, 70, 25. Okay. A couple pleasies. Alright, let's get rid of these guys and then we'll take a look at the pleasies. If the pleasies are high level, then we can probably tame them. Or at least one of them. And pleasies always spawn in packs. Except for there's a couple spots on the island where they don't spawn in packs. So they always spawn in packs, except for when they don't spawn in packs, if that makes sense. All right. I'm starting to see the glow. There you go. Ow. <laughs> We're down really low in health. I probably should have used all that food. You're up pretty high, Pleasy. What are you doing? What level are you? 35, of course. Lowest level there could possibly be. And you're aggroed on me. Alright, how far are you going to come up? Alright, and they have a uh, um, ceiling where they can't go up above a certain depth. Yeah, all right. Well, we're gonna get looking around a little bit more. I need to go get some more meat. There's always megalodons around here. All right, so yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Don't look at me like that. You know what you have to do. Yeah, you know what you have to do. We found something out there in the water. It was mean and vicious, and I need you to lay eggs so I can tame it. All right? More. I know, realize you've already given us, so far, five eggs from the entire time that I've had you here. But can you give me a sixth? A sixth egg. Don't twitch your head at me like that. Just don't do it. Give me more eggs. Come on. That that didn't work. I need another egg. Come on. Come on. I, I'm, you know what? If you could just poop out five eggs all at once, that would be pretty good. I mean, I'm... I don't know how this whole egg laying thing works, but if you could take some effort into laying more... Oh, she's not even paying attention to us anymore. All right, but yeah, I'm <laughs> back over here at base. Um, I cooked up uh, what kibble I did have. Uh, I have five Therizina kibble, and then also I have the cooked mutton chops. Um, I'm not sure that's going to be enough for what I saw, but you know what? We're going to head back over, and then we might actually have to partially prime meat this thing. All right, I think this is where I left her. Where the tabletop rock overlooks the ocean, you will find the thing that you saw. Um, get, uh, this. And then I ended up picking up some Bronto meat on the way over, so. Get that on there. Get that on there. All right. Uh, so yeah, let's get down here. Hopefully, it's still out here on oh, this Megalodon. Hey, Mr. Megalodon. Are you guys going to come try to jack me up? Yeah, of course you are, because you're a Megalodon. Alright, where are you? Still out here? Come on. Tell me you. Oh, there. Is that where I left you? Oh, yeah. That's where she is. And of course, she's got a whole ton of stuff around her. And that's the stuff that we have to deal with. Let's get rid of some of this. Because that's not going to do us any good anyway. Let's get rid of some of this. That and that. And, uh, 
You know what? Let's give her some more melee damage. Alright, so let's get down here. These things kill. Alright, that guy's dead. Right, let's take this, put this down here, put that down here, because we're probably going to need that. Drop some of this stuff so we're not encumbered. Drop a lot of this stuff so we're not encumbered. Alright. And then... following. Come on. Now we just have to keep an eye on her. Bertha. So where, because this right here, it's going to take her a long time to feed, but, oh, wow. All right, so this should be quite cool. All right, so, hey, wish us luck. I'm going to be escorting this girl around, and, yeah, all right. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. How you doing, girl? Oh, yeah, you like that kibble? That was tasty kibble. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You know, you and I, we could go hang out. Bertha, oh, yeah. Bertha knows some pretty good nightclubs down here. Oh, yeah. Bertha Bertha knows all the cool places down here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, she finally took her second kibble, and that took forever. <laughs> I've been sitting here, and then uh, things keep coming by, and I'll keep trying to uh, make sure I get rid of them before uh, they get close to her so I don't have to hit her the distance, and there's an angler fish there. I'm probably going to have to kill that guy here pretty soon, too. <laughs> oh, man. All right, but you know what? I mean, for freaking me out, and this, it, the endless depths beneath me, yeah, it, it, it's kind of pretty in a weird sort of freaky kind of way, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so hey, I'll see you guys in a bit. And she's ours. All right, so. All right, come on. Let me get out of here. All right, come on, let's get out of here. All right. Come on. Come on. Uh, you? E? There you go. All right, follow Bertha the Biter. All right, let's get our butt back to over there. I have a pen I have to put you in. We got to get some sa a saddle on you, and I'm going to take you out for a spin, girl. Oh, yeah. And uh, what are we going to call her? Oh, I don't know. Um, I will, lo I will look into it, and I will get... Our name for her by the time we get back to base, all right? See you guys in a bit. Oh, man. You in for uh, one heck of a swim? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right. Here we are. We're at base. All right. So let's take a look. Um, You know what? Let's get you to stop following me, and then let's hop on you and get you to stop following you, and let's take a look at your stats. I am really interested. Wow. 15K health. That's really, really good. All right. Uh, 261 melee damage. Not so good. A thousand weight. That's not bad. All right, let's get some uh, fish meat from you where we can transfer over. And the journey back was pretty uneventful, all except for a uh, alpha um, a megalodon was chasing us for a little bit. But other than that, it was pretty simple. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, and let's just give her a whole ton of health. All right, and then uh, let's see. Um, name options, change name, and I got a perfect name for her. All right, we're gonna go with Miss Pickles, because I mean, what is he? What is she? She's a sea pickle. I mean, look at her. Doesn't it look just like a pickle? It does. It does. That's Miss Pickles. All right. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go see if we can learn to um, get a saddle going for her. All right, so uh, let's go over here, and then bam, and then um, let's see. Uh, this, um, Basil. All right, Fide, 
Our fiber hide metal ingots. I'm probably gonna go have to go grind up a few metal ingots, but that ain't no thing. I will see you guys in a bit after I uh, go get. Oh, oh, those are just coals. All right. <laughs> All right. Things are in my pen, and I wanted to know what they were. All right. See you guys in a bit. You know, it's been a while, but my gosh, these rocks are so good for metal. <laughs> Ah, oh, jeez. And you know, I it it's weird. I I went over to that area of the um, island, made up a huge base, and now I'm back here, square one, doing all this. Sixty. All right. So let's see. We're gonna need uh, we need one ten. Right. It shouldn't be that bad of a thing, right? Right. That was thirteen. Uh, it feels so weird being back here smacking river rocks at, I mean, what were you, 90-something level? 96. <laughs> uh, it's the little things. All right, 99. Almost got it. 107. I'm just going to keep all this flint as well. Come on. Come on, dude. And we seem to be having a little bit of a weather front going through right now. It's foggy and rainy. Yeah. That. Get rid of that and that. And that, and that. All right. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right, and we're back. And let's take this uh, 117. Let's put that in there. Let's get some hide in there. Bam. All right, let's see. Uh, crafting. Saddles. Where are you? Equus. Elmimus. Baryonyx. Thalicolio. Rex. Allosaurus. Basilosaurus. There we go. All right. Um, let's see. Um, and I need to repair my scuba tanks. I have one that's completely busted, and this one right here that's halfway done. Yeah, I've been out there for a bit. Let's see, where'd you go? There you are, and too bad I don't have any dye for Mrs. Pickles. Um, come on, come on. there you go. All right, <laughs> I mean, dye would really, I mean, if there was ever a saddle that needed dye, it would, well, it would be the unicorn and, uh, you know, thylacolio and stuff like that. But this one is also a contender. All right, so let's get over there, uh, put that saddle on there, and then, I mean, um, Basilosaurus, they're, they're really not that hard of a tame. Um, it's like most uh, passive tames. After the first um, bite, it takes forever for them to want to eat again, but um, then it's it's not that big of a deal. Now, let's see if she's gained a level while we were away. I don't know. We've been smelting metal all the way through the night. What time is it? It's, uh, 7.23. All right, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's uh, over here. Come on, girl. All right. All right. You ready for a saddle, Miss Pickles? All right, stick that on you. And uh, let's see. I need to stick something on me. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, and she did gain a level. All right. She gets uh, 750 health per pump. That's pretty good. All right, let's uh, get you uh, not following me. All right. Let's get over here. Take her out for a spin. And she's actually kind of fast. And right, does she have a right click attack? No. C attack? No. Left click? Just a simple bite. All right. But um, she also has kind of a superpower where she can harvest up the jellyfish and stuff like that without getting eaten by the jellyfish, which is kind of cool. Which means that now we can go harvest up a whole ton of jellyfish without uh, having to worry about being shocked. And also, uh, we don't have to worry about the eels. How much she have for? 123. Right out of the... Right out of the gate, 123. That's pretty good. Um, so now we can also uh, harvest up uh, eels, stuff like that. So I'm thinking that we want to... She's probably going to be our primary mount because she has so much health. 
but she can't dive down really low because when she dives down, she starts taking damage. Here, watch. Here, she'll start taking damage. Let's get a little bit of stamina back. She regens stamina really fast. All right, so now she's taking damage. And she can harvest the crap out of these things. Biotoxin for days. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now let's get back up. Yeah, all right. So now we've got tons of biotoxin. We can start making uh, shocking trank darts, stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. All right, so, hey... Um, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So, hey, if you like the episode, if you like the Basilosaurus taming, if you like Mrs. Pickles, click that like button. I really appreciate that. And until next time, this is Flingerfoo, and take it easy. And how much biotoxin did you get? 192 off just that. That's pretty good. And I think we're going to go for around 35, maybe 40k health on you. Yeah, because uh, melee damage isn't going to be that big of a thing, but I want to be able to take a big hit with you, girl. Yeah. I mean, pickles, they could take a beating and keep on ticking, right? Isn't that the way the slogan goes? Pickles, they could take a beating and keep on ticking. Right? Right? All right, take it easy, everyone.